Today we're going to check out Baby Yoda. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean Solo 8 and today I'll be going over another Star Wars The Vintage Collection Action Figure Review. Today we've got Grogu the Child, also known as the Kid. Mando called him the Kid in several episodes. Uh, I called him Grugo for the longest time, but it's Grogu. I'm pretty sure now I'm confused just thinking about it. But I did bring along the other TVC, Grogu, well, the child, to show a little comparison in this video. You can see I have the Mando that came with the little Grogu. And, of course, I have the all-new Boba Fett, but look at those ankle rockers. See the difference? How his foot is right there? But that is why we need ankle rockers. Super, super sweet. Definitely can put them in some cooler-looking poses. But we are here for Baby Yoda. As you can see, he comes with his pram. He comes with a little frog that he eats on that planet where they meet Cardoon. And, of course, the package looks absolutely awesome. This is where... They fight the mud horn, and of course, maybe it's not where he fights the mud horn, but it definitely reminds me of that scene. It says Kenner down there on the bottom in package. He looks super cute, man. Ram looks like it has a lot of detail going on in there. Uh, the bubble is actually the same size as all the other ones. On the back, Baby Yoda is VC-184. You can see the way that he comes in. I did pick all of those up, and as I said earlier, Boba Fett is already on the channel if you guys want to check that out. But without further ado, thanks for checking out today's video, and let's take a closer look at the child. Boom! Baby Yoda is out of the package. As you can see, Grogu looks pretty sweet, man. Here's a quick look at Baby Yoda in his pram. You can see he fits perfect. He's not going to wobble. Even on this stand, it's absolutely perfect. I do think I actually have this a little bit crooked, but let me just show you a close-up on that. Yeah, you can see he looks great in there. What a great job, Hasbro. Good job. It looks absolutely sweet. The thing I like the most out of this is definitely that pram. The details on it are just phenomenal. You can see it does come apart in several different pieces. And of course, this pops off, as you can see right there. The weathering on this pram is just spot on. And look on the inside. Absolutely phenomenal, man. Really good job. That looks like a real blanket. The vintage collection is really becoming part of the pack here. This part of the pram comes on it in package. You can see it has a little bit of yellow on the back there and it just connects to this piece right here like so and you can see you can have baby Yoda in the pram. This piece right here uh, it was a little bit out of shape when I first got it but these are pretty soft and bendy. See how I'm squeezing that? So you can just connect it on like so and here's his pram fully assembled as you can see the weathering isn't quite the same all the way around but overall it looks super cool you can see the frog and the child look absolutely great together let me just throw up the old one put them in the middle but you can see from the back they look all the same the new one is a little bit of a wider paint on the collar all right now that you've seen him on the turntable let me just grab this frog and we'll see how squishy he is. You can see the size of my thumb is just super, super tiny. But the detail on it just looks great. They did a really good job on this too. And the legs are all bendy, of course, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything on this guy. But for how tiny that accessory is, it's super cool. This is the new Grogu. You can see his face looks really, really good. There's a lot of paint in those ears. Uh, my eye, one of my eyes looks a little off, but overall, man, that's great. I don't know if that's dirt or paint on mine. You can see his cute little feet. Uh, this one actually comes with a peg hole. I don't know if the other one did. Yeah, so the bottoms are actually different, too. Let's just take a look at both face paints. But... I don't know if they're the same or not. I know the ears are definitely different, which is cool. So if you want different emotions, you can get those. But just like the Black Series, his arms are removable. They do rotate around. As you can see, it just fell out. So you're going to want to be really careful not to lose these little things. Hands do not adjust separately. It's just the arm movement. But again, both arms do rotate. His head does rotate also. And it does tilt down. And he also looks up which is great and here's the build a pack mando 
with the child and we'll just see the size comparison there but as you can see yeah it is definitely perfect what a great figure highly recommended hopefully we'll see this guy on the shelves out there he is two per case but thanks for checking out today's video and click on one of the videos you guys see up on the screen and until the next time i'll see you guys in the next video